A skimming ring that claimed thousands of victims all over the Denver area has been busted thanks to the dogged work of one local investigator. He put the pieces together along with officers in Boulder, Arapahoe, Douglas, Elbert, and Jefferson counties, and the Aurora and Parker Police Departments were also on the case. Twelve people have been indicted. Jamie Leary has more for us right now. And Jamie, the crooks targeted gas stations trying to clone credit cards. Absolutely, and detectives hope more arrests are going to be coming. But for now, I want to show you something. We're at a Safeway gas station. All Safeway gas stations are upgraded with high-tech security. You see this green light? The moment that you tamper with this pump or any Safeway pumps, that light turns red and the entire pump shuts down. Now, you've probably noticed at most gas stations, they have that red tape right here. The investigators say that's just not cutting it. That's how a very organized crime ring targeted victims' bank accounts and credit cards. This crew was actually able to buy replacement ribbon, so they would cut the seal and then seal it back up, and then no one would know the pump was compromised. The suspects hit gas stations across America, skimming credit card information for more than 8,000 victims. There are 2,300 victims in Colorado alone. They'd start off, they'd fly from Miami, rent a car here, and then they would hit the, a lot of the gas stations on the beltways. Detective Chris Fiegel has been with the Boulder County Sheriff's Office for 18 years. It's the biggest investigation I've worked. It started at this Conoco in Superior. For 16 months, he followed the suspects who continued to up their game. It went to Bluetooth, so now they weren't having to get back into the pumps again, so that made it harder to catch them. They could pull up and download the data to their uh, iPhone. They were raking in $2.5 million per week. Fiegel finally was able to connect his case with others across state lines. Nine of 12 suspects face charges and are now on an ice hold because they're Cuban nationals. Three, including one Coloradan, are still at large. Fiegel helped bring down a national crime ring, but... It's an epidemic. This crew is really prolific in it. Uh, I know there's still stuff going on. They're always changing their technology, so I don't see this being the end of it. Now, if your gas station doesn't have high-tech security measures, there are ways you can protect yourself. Investigators say, for instance, choose the pump that is closest to the front door. Oftentimes, that's much too visible for crooks to tamper with. Also, you can always opt to take your credit card and pay inside at the cash register. Live in Aurora, Jamie Larry, covering Colorado First.